Hey everyone, Louie here. In the last video, I showed how to get started making games that can run on retro handheld devices uh, like this one using JavaScript. And back in January, I mentioned uh, that I knocked out a couple of classic games one morning, and these were actually, actually uh, playable and pretty fun. Now, I'm not sure how I feel about the term vibe coding, uh, but we're gonna use AI to help us get started here. And I've got instructions on the JS Game Launcher repo. Um, this little AI uh, quick start. So the first thing we're gonna do is just clone the simple JS Game Starter uh, repo. We'll copy that. And we'll open up a terminal and let's do a git clone of that and we will rename it something. Let's do breakouts. Okay, we'll go into breakouts npm i for install npm run dev now when we open this up of course that does not look like breakouts that is just the little starter that's got some sound handling and input handling for both keyboard and joystick uh, but what we're going to do is use the source code that came with this here with this little template now we'll go to breakouts and we've got our main function and um, and some utility functions. Now these utils are what um, sort of smooth out the difference between uh, keyboard handling and gamepad handling, as well as some helpers for loading resources. Now I'm going to use Claude for this demo, um, but if you like uh, one of the other big LLMs, go for it. So the prompt I'm going to give it, uh, we'll paste into here. And that is I wanna make a clone of the classic breakout game, but in JavaScript. Don't use the DOM, just the canvas that I'm supplying. Here's my scaffold. Just update my games JS with an implementation that uses my pattern for handling input uh, for the utils from the utils file. Now don't assume any more resources than what I have in my scaffold. Draw these things with just canvas. I gotta be real specific there, otherwise it will hallucinate a bunch of resources that I don't actually have. Um, and I have to also be very specific that I don't want to use the DOM. We are supplying a canvas. I don't want a bunch of other elements to make up this game. And let's add the two source files that I mentioned. By the way, it's uh, really easy to forget to actually add the source file and Claude will try anyways and get everything wrong. Okay, so let's give this a go. And Let's see what we get here. Okay, it uh, looks like that finished up. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. I'm gonna go back over um, to the main here, and let's just see if we one-shotted breakouts. Save this, and it should automatically refresh, and oops, here we go. And what do you know? We have got, <laughs> we've got breakouts. And it is, it is playable. Not that I'm any good at this game, but it is a playable of version of Breakouts and it's using my laser sound. All right, so that works, awesome. Um, all right, oh, and you notice the sound stopped when I moved over to another tab because request animation frame only goes when the uh, tab is focused. All right, so uh, back, to, um, back to the game code here for a second. So uh, what's nice is uh, since we started with that template, we could see that a lot has changed. You know, just um, using Git, we could see that there's been um, a lot of stuff. Although this entire Breakouts clone here was 359 lines. So it'd be really easy to add features, use you know better images, um, just do all kinds of stuff. And you could stay within the AI or you can um, you know, go in here and manually edit things yourself. It's just a nice way to get started and we have a working game. Um, now in the last video, I uh, made a game or uh, you know, a game template and copied that over to run on the device. Um, instead of doing that this time, uh, if we wanna make sure that it's going to run on the device because the uh, device, JS Game Launcher, isn't a full-fledged browser. It's just a compatibility layer. It's a canvas and the APIs we need to do gaming. What I could do instead is run um, the same code run JS Game Launcher, um, which is npx run game and uh, dot slash uh, breakouts. And um, 
I need to rename this simple game started to breakouts JSG, but we uh, this will work for now. And what we have is, um, let's use the uh, the gamepad here. Since it is working here in the JS game launcher, the JS game launcher will run um, not only on the on the devices, um, but it'll also run on uh, Windows, Linux, um, and Mac. So, um, anyways, that's a, a, a good way to get started uh, really, really quickly um, making games, or at least having AI make games for you that you might want to um, improve on. So, uh, anyways, let me know if there's anything else uh, you want to see. Um, I, I, I did have uh, some pretty good luck. Uh, Breakouts is, is a really simple one, but I've done uh, Minesweeper, Bejeweled, Tetris, Space Invader, Centipede, and other things like that you know, uh, sort of classic uh, retro games, um, I've had a lot of luck using AI to just knock out something. And then, you know, I've, I've done a few iterations. Um, they don't always one shot like breakouts did, but um, they'll give you enough to get started. And uh, this, is, uh, uh, this has been a lot of fun. So thanks.